Hello everybody, it's Lee Moore here and I'm here with Mixed Media Friday. Now, today I want to do something a little bit different. I want to do a little bit more of a product review slash technique. So uh, one of the things that I want to feature today because I get asked this quite often is what do I do with these Lindy Stamp Gang color shots? Okay, and these color shots are so great. They're um, they're just full of, they're kind of the same thing as the Starburst sprays, um, but in a shot, in a pot form. And so it's a little bit, it's quite versatile actually. So I'm gonna show you all different ways. I have several different colors here so that I can show you different ways to use them. So the first um, way to use them, which is you know the easiest way, <clears throat> is by taking some water and mixing this. So you're going to take your, you're going to open your pot, and in the pot it actually says add hot water or a medium of your choice, swirl to mix. So this is what it comes like, right? It's super concentrated, so you'll think you're only getting a little, but it's, it's super concentrated ink, and it's super shimmery. I don't know if you can even see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fill it up, and just about right there, okay? And you can already start to see the shimmer. Now I am going to let it sit. Um, approximately 10 minutes just to um, allow it to really um, to allow the uh, the colors to really just uh, dissolve okay the ink to dissolve since it's in powder form so I'm just gonna let that sit for 10 minutes and I'll come back but after that I don't ever have to do anything again it's like totally perfectly mixed okay so for those of you that are not um, spray people and you don't really like to have your hands um, dirty all the time. What do you do with something like this? Well, there's several things that you can do. You can use this as any sort of paint, like a watercolor paint. So I'm going to show you. Just as this is just a plain piece of a white cardstock, but all you um, have to do is like you can literally just, let's say if you have an image, even a stamped image, you can go ahead and just watercolor with it, and it's just like the vibrancy. It's just so beautiful. And what you can do with it is you can dilute. While it's still wet, you can still dilute it. So you can take some water and still dilute it, right? So super pretty and very, very shimmery. So you can add more shimmer if you want it. Can you guys see that shimmer? It's just so gorgeous. So those, that's one thing you can do with the water. Now the other thing that you can do is you can actually take a flower of your choice. So I'm just taking a Prima flower. Look how beautiful this flower is. And I'm just going to grab, these are uh, Lindy Stamp Gang grippers, which I love because they lock. See right here. And I'm just going to take my flower on the bottom petal, and now it's locked, so I don't have to worry about it falling out. And I'm literally going to dip it right in the water. And so for those of you that are, like I said, not big misters, this is so the technique for you. So I just dip it right in there. And my flower, I'm going to put in focus, my flower is now completely covered, which is pretty awesome because now, look at my hands are totally clean, even though my nails are horribly done. And then I can just go ahead and give this a quick dry. I'm going to dry and come back so you can see the beautiful shimmer. Okay, so here is the flower. Whoops, hang on, I'm a little bit out of focus. Now, I don't know if you can see if the camera picks it up, but can you guys see how two-toned it is? Some areas are lighter and some areas are darker. Now, that's the beauty of Lindy Stamp Gang uh, products is that everything's two-toned, plus you have this fabulous shimmer. So really, really, like look at, inside is lighter than the outside. It's just so pretty. And that's just by dipping it in the pot. So that's one thing, and you can do this with even like, um, this. that was a cloth flower, but you can still do this with paper flower. And these are old Prima Classics, and I like these because they have the stem in them. And so you don't have to use grippers if you don't want to. You can literally just take it by the stem and dip. And you can dip it a little bit, or you can dip it all the way, okay? Which I really, really love. And then you do the exact same thing. But then your flower is totally done. And just let it sit and dry. So that's one technique. Now I'm going to set up for the second technique. Okay, for this next technique, I'm going to take Lucky Shamrock Green in the Starburst. I'm going to open it up. Can you guys see that yummy shimmer? 
one of my favorite colors. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some acrylic gloss medium. And um, what this will do, it'll kind of create, I'm going to say kind of like this silky, yummy paint um, for all you mixed media junkies. And I'm just going to apply all the way there. Okay. And then I'm going to take another one of my knives and I'm just going to stir it up. Whoops, there's that bubble. It splattered all over me. And you want to mix this up really, really good and get all those chunks right out of there. Try not to spill like I'm doing. And then stir it really, really well. I'm just making a mess. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to stir this up really good off camera and I'll come right back. Okay, so now that it's very yummily um, mixed, can you guys see that gorgeous shimmer? Oh my goodness, like just absolutely unbelievable. And so now you can apply it in several different ways. You can use this on your scrapbook pages, you can use this um, you know, in your on your canvases, any any old way. So, um, you know, one way to do it, of course, is just taking, um, a, you can take, let's say, a brush, right? And dip it in, and you can actually paint with it, and you can create some beautiful, glossy, yummy, shibbery finish, and I'll show you what it looks like. I mean, this is just stunning. And if you find that there's still a little bit bumps, just mix it up a little bit more, that's all. Just needs to be stirred up. But you can make it, of course, as light or as dark as you want, and I'll show you. I'm actually going to dry it up so that you can see all that yummy shimmer. It's not fully dry, but you can kind of see, like, it's just so, so gorgeous. So you can do quite a bit um, with these paints because they are um, a textile dye ink, then they are quite vibrant versus, you know, if you were to mix this, you know, you can't, you can't do this with any other spray company, which is really great. So we have that. And so that's the color um, that's using, what did I say? Uh, acrylic gloss medium. And I'm just going to close this up and this will stay like perfectly um, just as is right, for a long time, so you don't have to worry about it drying out or anything of that sort. So I'm just gonna set up for the next one. Okay, so for this next one, what I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna use, uh, this color's called Amaryllis Burgundy. And I'm gonna open this up, another gorgeous shimmer, and I'm actually gonna use Matte Gel Medium, okay? And this is by Liquitex, but you can use any gel medium that of your choice. And I'm going to grab another one of my knives. That's why I have so many knives. And I'm actually going to put this right into the jar. Okay. And you can put as little or as much as you want. Of course, the more medium you put, the lighter the color will be, right? And the less you put, the darker the color will be because it is a very concentrated color. So if you want it to be more in the true uh, color, add you know, all the way. And this um, will stay perfect in this jar, by the way. It'll stay nice and um, it'll work just fine because the jar seals really, really tight. So you don't have to worry about it drying out. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stir this up. So now that it's nicely mixed, like look at that, gorgeous shimmery gel. Uh, depending on what gel you use, some of them um, is a little bit thicker than others. So um, when you go to your art supply store, if you want something that's thick to use on a screen, then just, you know, get me, um, it'll say medium. Uh, some of it is light, some of it is medium, some of it is hard. Um, so it just, it just depends. Now, grab your favorite stencil of your choice. I happen to grab um, a cool camera by Prima, and it's a six by six. And I'm just gonna take my knife, same one I used to mix, it's fine. And uh, you don't need a whole lot, but this will give it a little bit of dimension. So much fun. So, so much fun. And so shimmery. I know it's hard for the camera sometimes to pick up that shimmer just because of the way that the light shines on it. But of course, the depending on how dimensional you want it, that's how much you'll apply it on the camera. And if you want some areas to be a little bit more raised than others, then by all means, apply 
more on some than the other. So just like that, and then you're going to go ahead and left, and you have this, I smudged a little bit on the bottom, but look at this gorgeous, gorgeous gel camera, and it is raised, it's kind of, can you guys see that awesome dimension? So really, really fun to play with. And then you can just dry it up and it'll shimmer like crazy. And I would recommend washing this right off with water. You don't want gel to kind of get on there because it'll harden and sometimes it'll start to block some of the actual stencil. So I'm just going to set up for the next one and I'll come back. Next one up is Breakfast Club Blue. And what I'm going to use with Breakfast Club Blue is I'm actually going to be using, this is a modeling paste, and I believe this is just a regular modeling paste, it's not light. You can use any uh, type of model pa modeling paste that you want. I'm going to take my knife again, and the thing about um, modeling paste and this is it will actually uh, stay in its true color, however, it starts to lose a little bit of the shimmer. But for those mixed media artists that are not particular about shimmer, this is kind of your perfect um, medium for you. And if you did want to add shimmer, Lindy Stamp Gang does sell the shimmer separately as well, all the mica. So you could just go ahead and buy yourself a package of mica and then add more mica to your uh, pot. And then you have the shimmery modeling paste. So it's just another option for you to have. And so I'm just adding to fill the pot as much as I can. I'm running out of modeling paste. It's almost time to go buy some new ones. And I'm gonna stir this up. I'm gonna close this up before it dries out. I'm gonna stir this up and come right back. So look how beautifully mixed it is, right? It just took a little bit. And um, like I said, if you want to add a little bit of shimmer, you can go ahead and just add some mica to it and it'll be nice and shimmery. So now you're going to take your favorite stencil or stencil of your choice and you're going to take your knife and you're going to apply it like modeling paste, just like all the other techniques that I've showed you in the past. Because it is modeling paste, it just has color in it now. And you can make it as um, thick or as light as you want, doesn't really matter. And, you know, we have, like, at Lindy Stamp Gang, there's hundreds of colors. Hundreds. So you can, like, do this with, you know, every color of the rainbow if you wanted to. Okay? And so, just like that. And lift. And you have this gorgeous... Let me show you. Oh, sorry. Wrong camera angle. You have this gorgeous raised... Look at that. Dimensional camera okay so really really fun and like I said if you want some shimmer add some mica to it and um, you can you know of course if you can think of any other medium you can go ahead and um, play with them you know I have here as well some satin varnish so kind of like this gloss medium this is satin so you could do the exact same thing um, you could add it to um, gesso now let me show you what happens when you add it to gesso so I'll set that up and come right back Okay, so the next color that I'm grabbing, and this is Magnolia Magenta Gold. I want to show you the difference of what happens with gesso versus with like the satin finish or the or the water or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a little bit of uh, satin finish right here on my mat, just so that you can see. And then I'm just going to grab a little bit of the gold. Maybe I'm going to add a little bit more of this. And I'm going to mix it up, and I want you to see the color of it. And then I want to show you the difference once you add gesso. What happens when you add gesso is you'll find that it'll, because it's got um, kind of like a chalky consistency, then it mutes it down. It almost makes that color more like a watercolor um, effect of that color, so it'll tone it down. And so this is that beautiful, shimmery yumminess, and you can really see that, right? Um, it's one of my favorite colors. It's, I said it's Magnolia Magenta Gold. Just stunning, stunning color. And so this is what happens when you add gesso. So I'm just going to add it about right there. And you'll see it'll really change the color. It's coming, it's just all on the bottom. Okay, now check out the difference between the two. 
right? One is that super beautiful, light, um, you know, really vintage, shabby, chic pink. And the other one is quite magenta. So, I mean, the possibilities for these pots are totally endless. So you can, every medium you add is gonna change the color just a little bit, which is so much fun. And uh, with the gesso, another thing to note, kind of like the modeling paste, you're gonna lose that shimmer. So if you do want shimmer, um, you need to add a little bit more mica. All right, so that is it for, and the gesso you apply it just like you would um, on your projects, just like I do any other way, right? And if you want, you can add uh, heavy gesso so you can do like the modeling paste technique, okay? Whereas if you put this with modeling paste, it'll be, be more this color, whereas gesso will be a lighter color. So I hope um, you learned something today and I can't wait for you to just share with me some of the things that you've created with these awesome uh, pots by Lindy Stamp Gang. I'll post the link below for the Lindy Stamp Gang, we Stamp Gang website and you can go and uh, check that out by yourselves. Thanks so much. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.